Hey everybody. This morning sucked. This morning sucked. Suck. 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 What's going on everybody? You're watching Angling Anarchy. My name is Brian and the video we have for you today are all the goofy, funny, silly, stupid things that happen throughout the year. Uh, you know, while you've got cameras running all the time, you're bound to pick up some silly stuff. So that's what this video is. And we are going to get started off by uh, showing you the one that is featured in the thumbnail, actually. That's somebody falling on the ice, and that someone is Mr. Robbie Jarnigo from Today's Angler. Uh, I'm sure you guys know that channel. If you don't, check it out. I'll put them in the uh, their link in the description below, but uh, they've got a fantastic channel. But Robbie and I were fishing with some other folks in January of this year for pike, and the first flag we had, we went running towards it, and uh, uh, you'll see what happens. Oh, right here. Right. Oh, oh. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a tumble, but I saved the camera. <laughs> All right. This might be a good, really good fish. Oh, I think it's uh... So luckily he was okay, the camera was okay, uh, just sort of a funny moment. Uh, that same trip we actually had Miss Heidi Hansen, also you've probably seen her on Today's Angler. She got a little confused on why the rod in the Arctic Warrior was flipped upside down and it led to this funny moment. Oh, yep, yep, I just saw it. Which one? This one straight ahead here. Heidi, take it. Oh, come on, really? Yep. Are you sure? But yep. I've never done this before. All you have to do is, so it's 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 sitting, so you just have to pick it up and flip it over, so it's like a regular spinning rod. Okay. And then just flip the bale over, set the hook. So the bale over? So yeah, the bale's open right now, so we can take line out. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. But I kind of want to feel it though, out, right? Yeah, yeah, so flip it over and, right. yep, see if there's any weight there. Okay. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. There it goes, okay. So go ahead and take it out. So take yep, out. so yep. take it out. Just lift straight up. Yep. Right. And then flip it over. Other flip it over? Yeah, other way. Oh, oh, oh. Set the, set, yep. Okay, other way, but you know, upside <laughs> oh down spinning you rod. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's so confusing. <laughs> You're I mean, all right, it's working upside down spinning rods. That's what. Oh no, it did not work. No, no it's still there, it's still there, it's still there. <laughs> it might be easier to flip. I know. <laughs> Whatever, we're, we're this far, it. it's this far. Yeah, we're. Wow, this is gonna be like a okay. It's, it's, it's just a it's just a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's great. All right, <laughs> there we have it. You'll have that. <laughs> Heidi's a heck of a fisherwoman. She knows what she's doing. Just got a little confused on that one. So that 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 was funny. Moving on, we had more ice fishing. Uh, Nate and I went up to northern Wisconsin and hit it on probably what was the coldest day of the year. Uh, it was negative 25, negative 30 degrees out, and we were trying to fish for big walleyes in this little lake. And we finally got a hit, and this is unfortunately what happened. Terrible. Feels like a nice fit. Oh, no, it came off. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, guys, that is a bummer. That felt like a nicer fish. Oh, okay. It felt like a big fish, you know, who knows, but uh, that was probably one of the only good hits we had that day, so that was, that was disappointing. Same trip, the next day, it was, it was so cold. When we went out, the cameras were stopping. My face was frosted up, and that looked a little bit like this. All right, well, I'm using a different camera to film this because the other one, the battery died on because it's so cold out. And clearly, I haven't looked at myself in a mirror yet, but I feel a bit frosty. We got four rods out. I mean, this camera's not even working anymore. It's all frosted up. So, we'll see what we can do. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, catch a fish or two for you guys to uh, enjoy. <laughs> hopefully this is worth it. Nate's trying to not kill himself walking up there. All right, let's see what happens. Moving on to some open water shenanigans. We find ourselves on the Fox River in Green Bay for the Northern Wisconsin Muskie opener. Uh, it's actually the week after, the week before I'd caught a giant 52 inch muskie and I'll 
you can actually, uh, I'll leave a card up in the corner here. You can watch that. And uh, But the week after, we had Nate and Matt and myself out there, and you, nothing was happening, so we were getting bored. So you got to fool around with guys, right? So, I got Matt pretty good, but he actually got back at me. Apparently he didn't like where the cameras were, and uh, made that very clear by knocking one of them right off the pole. And that looked like this. Luckily, the, the other camera that's on the pole captured everything. You actually see bits of the uh, the camera mount flying off as he hit that one and it fell into the water. Luckily, that camera is still working. I use it to this day. So uh, we retrieved it from the lake. Uh, it was attached to a cord and we got it dried out real quick. So that is still in use to this day, but that was sort of a, a funny thing that happened on that trip. These next couple of clips are from one long, continuous fishing trip out on the Bay of Green Bay. Again with Robbie from today's angler and my friend Nate. We went out on Green Bay and we stayed out 36 hours or so. We were out all day, slept in the boat overnight, did some overnight fishing, and then fished the next day. And as you can imagine, things get pretty squirrely in the boat after that much time. Uh, but this first one was an interesting casting tactic that Robbie was trying out. See what you think. <laughs> All right, and then uh, the next, the very next cast, we were sort of daring each other to see how long you could reel the bait in without holding onto the rod, actually, uh, in hopes that a fish would grab it and rip it out of our hands. So that this is the point we were at. We were semi-delirious, I think. But as we're both kind of going back and forth, not holding on to the rod and reeling, I actually had the, the one fish we saw followed in. Just happened to be when we were goofing around. Go figure, right? Come on, man. I'm on the big green <laughs> bay. That's the side. <laughs> this is when the giant one hits. Roll the dice. <laughs> Finally, on that same trip, we have Robbie showing off some dance moves in the middle of the boat. Check it out. Now some clips from Eagle Lake. Uh, if you guys watch this channel, you know I go to Eagle Lake usually twice a year, spend a lot of time up there. And when we are up there, we are fishing as hard as possible. So sleep deprivation kicks in early and often on those trips. And it leads to some sort of goofy intros at times. <sighs> All right, it's, uh, it's day five. It feels like 105. <laughs> it feels like 105. <laughs> Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Yesterday was terrible. What's going on, everybody? It's day six. 
we're both tired. Nate hasn't stopped whining about how tired he is, quite honestly. And on top of that, we fished one spot already, and he had a fish come up lazy in the eight. He made the turn, fish got just one hook in the snout, didn't didn't stick. So, do I have me? Is it am I good? I wouldn't say good. Okay. And after fishing all day, the outros suffer from that same lack of sleep, and it looks a little bit like this. Yep. Hello. <laughs> okay. Still in focus? Yep. All right. Can you see me? Yep. All right. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. But lastly, what I have for you is something that happened actually two years ago. It should have been on last year's sort of fails video, but I forgot to put it on there. Uh, we were on Eagle Lake, and I don't know what happened to this day. I think what happened is the line broke in the middle of the cast, and all that energy that was stored up in the rod just kind of blew up in my hands, and the rod just, for lack of a better term, just flew out of my hands. Luckily, I was able to retrieve it, but it was, it was almost $700 in the drink, and it looked like this. Line broke. Wow, that was scary. I don't know why the line broke. Is that on a fish or just a snap? This is just a cast. He was just casting. I was just casting. Oh. I went back like this and went, and just the, the line snapped. Whew. <laughs> There's my morning jolt. Good, good dive. I was ready to pounce and you beat me to her. That would have sucked if we would have both killed. Huh. No, I just, I just, it was, line was going out and I just, we'll see what happened. That's the silly stuff that happened this year. Hopefully with the cameras running all this next year, we'll get some more stuff to do this video again next year. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it very much. I appreciate every single one of you that watch. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, leave us a comment. I don't care what it is, just leave us a comment. Talk to you later. Bye.